We are just three weeks into the election campaign, but it would appear many Aussies have already made up their minds about who they're going to vote for. Across the weekend, we asked Sunrise family members whether they decided who will get their vote. Now, 84% of respondents said yes, but a, a whopping 16% said no. They're going to decide the election. Now, it's probably fair to say many of that 16% are feeling disillusioned with both major parties. So the minor forces are keen to point out there is an alternative. Two of those options are with us this morning to debate their very different positions. Fiona Patton is leader of the Australian Sex Party, while Wendy Francis is standing for Family First in Queensland. Here's Mel. Thank you very much. All right, ladies, welcome to both of you. Thank you Thank for you. coming in. Now, what I want to do is kick off with uh, 30 seconds for each of you to explain your philosophies before we get into the debate. So, Fiona, you won the toss. We'll mm -hmm. start with you, and we've got a clock on it, so uh, we'll right. follow it. <laughs> OK. OK. Right, well, we were, we're fundamentally, we're a civil liberties party and we were born from, I suppose, the internet filter really started us going. But we represent, I think, the majority view on a lot of issues such as same-sex marriage, voluntary euthanasia, uh, sex education, and also trying to keep, I guess, government intervention out of adults' lives while protecting children. And also to really try and keep religion out of politics because I think we're certainly... Certainly, we'll come yeah, back to that one. Thank All you. right, thank you very much. OK, Wendy Francis, over to you. Same, you've got 30 seconds. OK, Australia needs family first in the Senate because we will actually bring balance to the balance of power. The most important question that you can ask when you go and vote is what sort of Australia do we want for our children and our children's children? Do we want a society with no morals, with no values and no sense of what's right and wrong? I will work for G-rated outdoor advertising. I will work on... Um, everything that, that is good for children, for parents and for mainstream Australia. So I want to be the voice for Queensland in the Senate. Please vote for me. That was well timed. You've practised that down to the 30 seconds. OK. <laughs> now what I want to do is go through some of your major points mm. of difference. Wendy, I'll start with you. You mentioned G-rated outdoor advertising there. Um, we've spoken to you on the show before about things like censorship of billboards. Why are governments better placed to decide what we should and shouldn't see than the general public and individuals? It's a shame that it's got to be that way, Mel, but the problem is that um, our industry at the moment is self-regulated and it is not working. Our children are not being protected from highly sexualised images in our society. So they, we drive down the road with the children in the car and they are seeing things that we should not have to explain to them when they're four, five, six years old. I want outdoor advertising to be G-rated so that it's the same across the board. We have G-rating well, for our how children's would you go TV with, programs. How would you go with our billboard? Because I have a billboard that I says the Australian Sex it. Party. Um, that, well, I don't have a problem with the Australian so sex party at all. you don't have a problem with the word sex, it's just... No, I don't have a problem with the word sex, except when it, I have to explain it to a four-year-old child what it means. So I don't want longer-lasting sex plastered over a, a billboard. But Australian sex party is And I believe okay. that the majority mm. of Australians would not want that either. Yeah. So, Fiona, to you then, I mean, some of the billboards are pretty graphic. You're OK with Look, all of them? You know, I think some of them are fairly tasteless, but I don't think we need government intervention in that. So uh, we need I think parent we do intervention, have, like the parents of We actually, do have a very good system in place and I and certainly look the advertising no, bureau the has, system's not has assesses working. itself and I think we're finding that majority of people actually are quite happy with where it goes no. and look we do get taste of stuff but we that's that's part of a free society problem, that Fiona, we don't have that, to agree yeah, with everything with that's out that there. Fiona is not actually speaking for the majority of Australians she is speaking for the sex industry. Fiona represents a lobby group for the sex industry. I think I represent so about the vast majority of Australians no, who think that we don't that need greater all. government intervention in our lives. If anything, there is big we need less what intervention. Fiona is saying, and there's big money. Her money actually stopped my billboard going up three times. Uh, no, your so billboard that... was against the company that you were putting the billboard at. I mean, look, I don't no, think the bill, I don't billboard think billboards was is saying, really important. Like outdoor advertising look, let's, I mean, there let's look no at real company. ways of protecting children. I mean, how about a royal commission into sex abuse in the church? I mean, would you support something like that? I would support sex. Uh, Commission into sex abuse across the board. Fantastic. Absolutely. I think that, look, I mean, that's great. It's we not can just churches. On. I don't know why you would actually single well, out churches thousand, because it is across the board. But I was going to ask that question of both of you yeah, anyway. Right. So okay. we've got agreement on that one. So a, a royal commission into Absolutely. sex abuse. Absolutely. Can we the have it within across the, the board within the sex industry as well? That would be really well, good. Well, actually, no one's been charged in the sex industry. 1,000 you know church I think it's employees abuse have of been children. charged. I think it's abuse of children that we drive down the road and we have to explain to them sexual injury. I think billboards are actually just such a 
a small part of, of You're absolutely you know, our, right. our society. It is a small part of it. Can I ask another um, another policy then? Um, internet filter, Fiona, you've been pushing strongly. The Labor government, of course, has been uh, pushing yes, strongly and for this. Look, I mean, you know, we pro the Australian Sex Party probably wouldn't be here had it not been for the internet filter. The internet but filter is actually against child pornography. So are you child saying... Child pornography is already illegal, Wendy. It's already illegal. We already send people to jail for it. But this is what the filter is... But it's there, Fiona. You'd be blind if you didn't I, know it was but there. But the filter does... I mean, we have laws to stop child pornography. But They're the, already exist. That's actually what the filter you know, is about. No, the, the filter is there not... to say we go to filter it. I want the people who do child pornography prosecuted and sent to jail. I don't want to see us filtering sites. I want to see them closed down and sent to jail. And the internet filter is actually not about that. It's about restricting what adults can view no, you're with, wrong. The, with the misguided you're idea that it will protect that. children. No, that's not true. They will, still be, <laughs> they will still be able to choose what you watch in your own home. But no, when it I starts won't. affecting, yes, you will. You well, actually will. Wendy, I'm, I'm not sure that you understand that the blacklist, the secret blacklist that the government will be kept keeping, all ISPs will be forced to block all Australians from viewing any sites that are on that blacklist. Now, those sites do not contain illegal material, such as child pornography. And you and I, of course, are in agreement about child pornography. Absolutely. But I'm not supportive of a government deciding what oh, I, I don't think as I an agree adult, with you can and can't watch. OK, so different view on that one. All right, let's go to the next one. Uh, Wendy, your web site says marriage can only be between a man and a woman. So what would you say to any gay couples watching this morning? I would say that gay couples have every right to be a gay couple. There is, they, are... they just can't have the same equality. But why would we change something that's been around forever? Why would we all of a sudden change the de definition of marriage to accommodate a lifestyle choice because that is quite legal? Because it's about equality. No, no, this is not about equality at all. This is actually about what's the good of Australia. Well, a small minority group is wanting something. And anyway, like, I can't believe that this is an issue when there are so my, many important things that we're talking yeah, about oh, in Australia. But I'm just trying to get garner the different views. I actually, I actually find it is an important marriage issue, marriage is between Wendy. a man and a woman, so when, and that is in the Marriage Act, and I see no reason why that well, would change. And I think the majority I, of Australians would agree with me. I, I, the majority of Australians don't agree with you, and all of the polling showing that the majority of Australians do believe that we should change the Marriage Act to not discriminate against so people on the grounds of who they love. So then where are we going to stop, Fiona? So there, there has My to be a line drawn somewhere. Gay. So where My sister cannot marry her partner. They have a beautiful daughter. I have a gorgeous niece, Bonnie. And they cannot... They are not treated... This, they are not treated in the so same I, equal... With I the same equal status as a family as your family. There has to be a line drawn somewhere. So that's not true at all. They have total legal status. That's they don't, not true. Wendy. They can't, they can't marry. They don't... But we the, the reason why they can't marry the... is because the Marriage Act defines it as I being between the marriage. Marriage. Woman. Do Why not allow an change? Australian law to discriminate no. against someone on the marriage grounds of their sexuality. Marriage is the backbone sexuality. of Australia. Marriage is the backbone of Australia. It has. It is such a good. Wendy, I think Australia. your idea of family is not probably the idea of most people. A you lot are of actually people's families looking for Australia. the good of your industry, you... Fiona. You are no, not I'm looking for the good of Australia. Uh, so the sex party is much broader. No, and, that's I mean, not true. Really, you know, the adult industry has no interest in whether in marriage. All right, let's look at the next policy. Uh, Tax-free status, Fiona, for religions. Why do you want to? Remove that. Look, I, I certainly think anything to do with, with charity or good work should remain tax exempt. And I think there's some fantastic charities and fantastic organisations. But what you're talking about is Lifeline and Salvation Army. No, I'm not. I'm talking about within the Tax Act, it says if you promote religion, that receives tax exempt status. Now, why should promoting religion be a tax exempt status. Promoting good food eating is not tax exempt. Promoting religion, what you're I think going it's archaic and it's out of you're step going with to today's take society. Money away from people like the Salvation Army, Lifeline, who are actually you know, counselling people I, who I come out saw, of your I industry. Saw the, I just so, saw the cathedral up here spend tens of millions of dollars building a church spire while there was homeless people all underneath it. Now. I don't believe in today's society, which is largely a Salvation secular society. Salvation Army are out there feeding those homeless I know, people. I, look, I'm totally supportive of Salvation Army, except for their drug policies. I'm totally supportive totally of a lot Totally except of, for. <laughs> I'm totally supportive of no, a of totally except for doesn't mean totally. No, totally right, means. So, yeah. Wendy, your view then? You don't think it should be removed? No, I don't. I think that if somebody's doing something wrong, you know, by all means, look into every. But Every why should church churches charity. remain tax exempt? Why should they not play land tax like the rest of us? But it's not just churches, it's charities. You're, I'm you're not just, saying charities, so I'm saying religion. But a lot I'm of charities are run by churches. Yeah, so I know, but if we're the actually charity... throwing the, the baby out with the, the bathwater No, the work here. they do for charity, of course, remains tax exempt. The work they do in promoting religion is what I'm saying shouldn't be tax exempt. Oh, I think it's a free society. Okay. 
Now, <laughs> can I, um, I would love you both to, to sort of give me a bit of a snapshot and um, to end all of this. Finally, who would you like to see as Prime Minister and why? Julia Gillard or Tony Abbott, Fiona Patton? Your views? I'd like to see myself as Prime Minister. <laughs> no. um, you know, at this stage, I don't think... policies are all about sex. <laughs> I don't think that either, either party is really answering a lot of the major questions that affect people's lives today. So, and I, I'm one of the 16%. I haven't, I haven't decided on okay. my vote. Um, I would like to see them talk more about voluntary euthanasia, talk more about government interventions into their people's talk lives. More about talk more devaluing about devaluing human child life. Protection. That's what you're saying. We, you want them to talk about devaluing human life. No, I don't. Can I just get a quick snapshot? So basically, you haven't decided, but one of them will be. Do you have a... Are you leaning either way yet? Look, one of... I mean, certainly one of our policies was to see more women in, in Parliament and to see a greater balance. So I, I, I have to say, from a female perspective and from a personal perspective, I do like to see a female Prime Minister. OK, and Wendy, who would you like to see Prime Minister? Mel, I, I, the major parties and the Radical Greens are actually all... They're making decisions at the moment <laughs> based on what's good for them and their parties and their own strategies. They're not making decisions for what's best for Australians. So I believe that as... Fiona yeah, you've said. given your you've given your preference to the climate so sceptics, who... One Nation, and the shooters. No, we've actually <laughs> given our preference deal to LMP, and if anybody reads the <laughs> Queensland Courier Mail, they would know that. <laughs> when, uh, so, who do you here. want to see Prime yeah. Minister? Well, as Fiona's just pointed out, we have given our preference to the LMP, so I guess that's where we would lean. Shooters, but, One Nation. Um, <laughs> So you well, want Tony You actually Abbott. have to preference everybody, Fiona. So <laughs> the problem here is that I'm not sure Fiona understands the ticket because you do have to put a box for suing everyone. So when you're preferencing, you do have to actually preference okay. every so party. are you telling me you'd like Tony Abbott as preferred PM? I'm saying that we are giving our preferences to the LNP. OK, that's an answer without... <laughs> yeah. OK, fair enough. Well, thank you both very much for your time. It was thank really you, interesting Nicole. to hear thank you, Fiona. your philosophies you. and, and your, your party's views. So thank you for thank a nice, you. healthy thank debate. You. There Thanks you go. Much. Koshy, that wasn't boring. <laughs> it, was, it was terrific. If only we could get Tony Abbott and Julia Gillard to, to be as honest. <laughs>